So what I'm starting with is placing the per percutaneous reference arc. So I've already palpated for the posterior superior iliac crest. We make a skin incision, and I tend to make my skin incision inferior and medial to the hip crest. So once I get the tip started, I then move it inferiorly and medially. And that'll help hold the reference array out of my way during the procedure. So there's a divot on the frame that we place it into, and we have a beep that tells us that it registered. All right, so at this point, we've registered our instruments. So now I'm looking down my pedicles at L5. And so if you look on the monitor, you can see that we have our trajectory. I'm docked over the L5 pedicle. And we can slowly under di direct control pass our all tip tap down through the pedicle. So this is our screw hooked up to our navigated screw inserter. And I can feel the tip of the screw fall right into the hole, which lines up with where our tract is. So I then just very gently pass it down through that same space. And so what you can see is we didn't need a K wire or a Kirshner wire in order to find that hole. I'm feeling the sacrum where the entry point's gonna be and then I'm feeling the transverse process of L5. So at this point, we're gonna make our pedicle entry points for after our decompression has been completed. So we're just sequentially dilating down through that tract and pushing the muscle away. What's nice about the navigation part of this is I can put this back on my probe and make sure I really like my angle and trajectory. Before I start drilling, one of the benefits of navigation is I can stick my probe down here and look and see where my pedicles are because I don't want to drill into my pedicles. We use a bone dust collector to collect all of this bone so we can use it for our local autograph. So at some point I do like to get some bone chunks. You can see what once was bone on bone, now there's actually a disc space there. So this is a navigated trial and we can place this down. And the great thing about this is it's gonna show us how big it is and is it the right length and where is it positioned within the disc space. So we take our capstone biomechanical device. And remember, I'm trying to get a little more medial. So at this point, we have to find our L5 pedicle. And I can feel the ridges in the bone of the tap. And so I can feel it engaging bone nicely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this arc and I put it down the little tract I've created and I pass it all the way down and I can feel it hitting the first screw uh, extender. And then we're gonna measure our length here. So I can feel that rod and I can hit it now there. And I can feel it hit there and fall off. So I know that we're in good position there. We then release the arc from the rod, separate the extenders and pull them out. And so now we'll get a uh, image, look at our screws, look at our graph, look at our decompression. We can look at all those things and then we'll close.